everyone, I'm Lonnie Love. Welcome to the Bailey's Holiday Baking Club where inexperienced bakers, I'm more than inexperienced, but okay, like myself, get to work with top bakers all across the country. And today, I'm working with my new friend, Katherine Berman. She's the co-founder and co-owner of Georgetown Cupcakes. I love her cupcakes. Hey, Katherine. Hi, Lonnie. It's nice to see you. I'm really excited to be baking virtually with you today. First, we're gonna take our flour and we are going to measure three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Yeah. Hold on. You know, you're an expert, I'm just learning. <laughs> that's about a quarter. Okay, that's okay, a quarter. So once that's sifted, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. You can tell I ain't use mine. I got it all together. And then we're gonna- <laughs> Catherine, hold on! One teaspoon. Once you get to the teaspoon, you find it, you just whisk it in with the rest of the flour. Once you sift that, you're gonna set it aside. And the next step is gonna be cutting our butter. And we're gonna throw that into oh, our mixer. Oh, cutting it in cube. She's not I'm mixing the butter perfect. up. Yes. And you're gonna cream the butter in the on medium, steam. medium speed, perfect. And now we're gonna measure the sugar. So it's gonna be one and three quarter cups of sugar. It is great. Yeah, right. <laughs> so just pour all the sugar in to the mixer. So while this is going, Lonnie, what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack two large eggs. We're actually gonna be making the red velvet mixture to put into the mixer. So you just wanna make sure you kinda of keep it away from you so it doesn't get on your clothes. Oh, okay. But you're wearing an, a right. you're wearing an apron, aren't you, Lonnie? <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> a small little whisk Look, I can do it like her. Look, that's fancy. Yeah. Take this, and we're gonna pour it into the mixer on slow speed. Okay, this, this is how we do it. <laughs> that is a ball. Okay, so the next step is gonna be, we're gonna do our apple cider vinegar and baking soda mixture. And this is kind of cool, cause it's like a little science reaction that you're gonna be doing. It's gonna bubble up. It's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling. Okay, so for the best part, we're gonna add the Bailey's red velvet. That's what I've been waiting on. Yes, the good part. So you're gonna pour one quarter cup of Bailey's red velvet. Oh, it smells so good, Catherine. I love putting this in my coffee, especially for the holidays. It just gives an extra little, you know, holiday feel to me. But what's so great about it, it's so versatile because you can really add it to any dessert you're making at home, whether it's like cakes or cupcakes or cookies. Okay, so what you're gonna do next, Lonnie, is you're gonna take your ice cream scoop and you're gonna put your ice cream scoop in your batter and you're gonna scoop it and then just put it in your cupcake trays that are lined. Look at that. Oh, this actually might work. This might come out. And this is what it should look like. Okay, Lonnie, now that our cupcakes are in the oven, we have around 15 minutes to get the frosting done. I love vanilla and chocolate. Okay, Lonnie, so while that is mixing, what we're gonna do next is we're going to sift 12 cups of confectioner sugar. Now I'm keeping it all for myself, Catherine. <laughs> Wait till it gets really incorporated before you put it on high, because you don't want it to kind of blow up in your, in your face. A little late for that, Catherine, <laughs> but okay. Now, the best part, we're gonna add the red velvet Baileys to the frosting. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Slowly. Oh, that's such a pretty color. It smells so good. Let me taste it a little bit. And then we've got all of our frosting in a piping bag, ready to frost our red velvet Bailey's cupcakes. teach you, Lonnie, how to do the signature swirl on the cupcakes. You are? So you've got your bag of frosting. You're gonna hold the top end 
around in a circle and come back down in the middle with a burst of pressure. Circle and a burst of pressure. There we, yeah. That's the Lonnie swirl. <laughs> it's the Lonnie swirl. That, that's that swirl. I got it. I got it, Catherine. All right. That's awesome, Lonnie. Thank you so much, Catherine. See, holiday baking can be fun and easy, and Bailey's just makes any treat that much more delicious. You will be able to purchase Bailey's Red Velvet Cupcakes on georgetowncupcake.com. And what's even sweeter is that Bailey's is making a $25,000 donation to the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation on behalf of Georgetown Cupcake. Always remember to enjoy responsibly this season. And you can pick up a bottle of Bailey's Red Velvet at your local retailers for a limited time, so you better get it.